Joyful, joyful, we adore Thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before Thee, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. I once complained of having no shoes, until I met a man with no feet. He made a joyful noise of thanks to the Lord with every boom that his heart beat. His house was swept away by a hurricane, his children damaged by the flood. His wife lost her mind in it all, yet he prayed through the tears, sweat, and blood. No one had expected this superstorm. Mother Nature had never attacked them before. The president and weatherman prepared them for the worst, but still this hit shook us all to our core. Beaches, businesses, homes, photos, and memories washed away like sandcastles on the breezy shore. Crying children ripped from the arms of their screaming mothers by a cold wind that would let them live no more. Power lines hiding beneath the murky depths of flooded streets stole anyone's life away, while freezing icy salt water rushed fast into the homes of the panicked, disabled, sick, poor, and old who stayed. Giant heavy trees fell to their knees and crushed everything that waited below. Onto cars, homes, frantic people who faced all of this scared and alone. Families that were wondering where to send their kids to college just a week before the tragedy were wondering where they could rest their heads just a week later in shell-shocked agony. But this man I saw expressing his heart, he didn't wallow in the pain of it all. He remembered who gave him life to begin with, who gives life to both great and small. He said he was thankful to be alive, thankful for neighborhood unity, thankful for the warnings that saved their lives, thankful for his community, thankful for the health he was given, thankful for his family, thankful for endurance, family, love, thankful for humanity, thankful for all the people helping out, thankful for those of us helping them cope. Thankful for his angels protecting them all. Thankful to God who gave him hope. It hit me to my core and I started crying. I had given them my money, my attention, and my time. I had organized friends all over the world to donate to help them both physically and online. But his testimony touched my spirit, woke me up, and struck my heart. All the petty things we all complain about, superficial differences that drive us apart, the insecure egos dominating positions of power, the hurt souls giving God the silent treatment in dread, the scarred faithless pessimistically throwing in the towel, believing the lie that most humanity is dead. Yet this crisis could happen to any of us, at any time, in any place, for any reason. But this man was so thankful despite it all, while we're all, all shopping for the holiday season. He will have no Thanksgiving turkey feast. He will have no Christmas tree gifts and lights. He will have no New Year's Eve parties to go to. He will have only a life to rebuild and rewrite. While we give in to the commercial madness that retail corporations have designed for us, while we let our holiday spirits get branded and defined by the feeding frenzy of sales ads sung in chorus, while we get stressed out trying to find the right gift, decorate the house, prepare food for the relatives, while we scream in traffic at the top of our lungs, colorfully insulting the jerk who cuts us off in high octaves. Let us remember the reason for the season. Let us remember why we are all here. Let us remember who gave us the life we breathe. Let us remember to thank God each day of the year. For I once complained of having no shoes, until I met a man with no feet. So I will make a joyful noise of thanks to the Lord with every boom that my heart beats. Mm -hmm. 
Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Happy Thanksgiving.